became a born again Christian at 16 during a revival meeting in Pennsylvania. Never forget it. It was beautiful. Uh, but I did smoke and I tried to quit, tried to quit many different times. And I swear I heard a voice in my head say, if you don't stop, these are going to kill you. And I was thinking, oh, my God, my, my brain is, you know, playing with me. Now, mind you, I was a Christian. And I heard it again, and it scared the crap out of me. Remember it very, very vividly, that these will kill you early. Don't do it. So I'm, I'm really happy that the Pope is saying just no to cigarettes. Because, uh, you know, some people I know, the farmer, he's eating bacon and eggs. I know he's smoking cigarettes and pipes and cigars and he's 95 years old and he eats bacon every day. I get it. And I've heard people say, well, you smoke the Indian cigarettes. People say that smoke the Indian cigarettes um, because they don't have the chemicals in them. You roll them yourself. You don't have the filters to have the chemicals, tobacco that has the chemicals. Maybe there is something to it. It is the chemicals, though. There's thousands of chemicals in U.S. cigarettes and most cigarettes. So maybe it is healthier to uh, to roll your own uh, the Indian way. But <laughs> what did Adrian Rogers, my pastor in Memphis, used to say? Uh, it was kind of funny. He said, if God meant you to smoke, he would have put a chimney on you. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he was the one, quite possibly, that said, and probably a lot of pastors, maybe they copied from somebody back in the day, but um, said that did not believe that cigarettes would quite send you to hell, but it would sure send you to heaven a lot faster. Well, that's a lot of people, folks. You think about it. That's staggering. Um, Ten million euros, which is 11 million a year in profits. They are just off cigarettes sold at the Vatican. But when you talk about 7 million deaths annually around the globe, uh, that's the stats from the World Health Organization. Think what 100 people would look like. But then 7 million people could be alive possibly because they didn't smoke. Um, you could always tell a smoker. You can always tell their hands, their fingers, their lips. Even Obama, he had that, like, purple lip. Uh, hopefully he stopped smoking. But it ages you from the inside out. People look older. Their skin doesn't look too good. And you exacerbate your health. If you can give it up, you can get fine help, patch, uh, find some projects, find places to go that you can't smoke, and just give it up, get out of it, because you're going to add health and longevity to yourself, um, you just don't want to die from a, a terrible disease such as COPD. Um, I've seen people die of that disease. Uh, my mother-in-law, unfortunately, she had it from cigarettes, and it, 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 her lungs were shot. But that on top of arthritis, that on top of other diabetes, I mean, you're just you're putting poison in your body, poison, and nothing good comes from it. And you're adding the toxins in the air and the food. And all right, you get it. Cigarettes are just not good for you. By the way, Ben Carson has said that Donald Trump praised him on election night for remaining optimistic that Trump would get elected. Carson, the Trump administration's housing, urban development secretary, said that he and his wife, Kathy Carson, excuse me, Candy Carson, spent election night with Trump and his inner circle at the Trump Tower, according to The Hill. Well, once I became obvious, uh, once it became obvious uh, the president was going to win, he looked at me and said, Ben, you were right. Carson said in the Hill report, some members of Trump's campaign did not believe that Trump could win the presidency. But Carson said he remained convinced. There were some of the campaign who listened to all the prognosticators who maintained there was no chance the president would win, though I was confident that he would. Carson adding to the Hill. Folks, positive thinking does work. Norman Vincent Peale wasn't crazy. Robert Schuler took his advice, preached with that for many, many years. But the power 
of positive thinking, not negative. Negativity will eat you up from the inside out, too. Talk about uh, a cancer. Positive thinking. And that's why I say what's not good for the country is we sit there and talk negatively about a sitting president. You know how many times I could have raked Obama over the coals when he was in the White House? He was our president. you got to have some respect for it, for our authorities, for our lawmakers, and, and to have uh, generations know to support law enforcement and the laws of the land and be patriotic, love your country. I really hope there's a resurgence of that and more people respect it. Unfortunately, and it's true many times, calamity happens. And then people band together. Then people help each other. Then people love the flag and pray. Folks, we need to be diligent about this in season and out of season, like the Bible says, all the time. We need to be looking to him and loving each other instead of putting each other down. Ben Carson, positive guy, smart guy. Uh, How do you do brain surgery without having some brains of your own? And certainly he saved a lot of lives and I believe encouraged Donald Trump to continue the fight. We have to continue the fight each and every day here in America, and I know you are. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, we're listener-supported. Please become a member today at ForThePeopleShow.com. Keith Allen saying all the best. May God bless. (laughs) 